Uh, let's uh, say good morning to Sangita. Well, let's say good morning yeah. to Jennifer, but say good morning to Sangita good as well. Good morning, Hi, Sangita. Sangita. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Good. Very good. good. I'm, I'm at Drift Mania. It's totally safe today. <laughs> this car has about 350 horsepower and about an 18-inch tires, so I'm very excited. I love cars. So I what? Did, I love them. So Drift Mania, that's, that's that skidding thing, isn't it? That's that yeah. doing donuts and stuff. Have you ever seen a Cars, Pixar's movie? Yes. The Lightning McQueen? Yes. That's me today. Yeah, hey, yeah. You hey, just announced you were pregnant easy. yesterday. We're so, watching yeah. out for you. I'm safe. I'm safe. All right. I'll, yeah. helmet, I'll have the suit. Come on. Don't take this away from me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you be careful. I will. Right. I will. It's Sangita's, been a lot of fun. Thank you to the Live Eye today. This is an interesting study note. And this All right. Thank you to standing by the Live Eye right now. Thank you to... Ooh. Do you feel the car? You can't feel the car. But can you hear the car? We're at Drift Mania. We're experiencing the, the drift experience, really. I'm going to race you. You ready, Ryan? On your mark. Get set. Go. I guess I should put the clutch in. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sangita. We'll be She's checking good. back in with her. She is good. We'll, good. we'll be back. It's uh, 644. Good morning. You're watching Breakfast Television. Now, Sangita announced yesterday that she was pregnant. So, congratulations, Sangita. We want you to take it easy, but vroom, vroom. I know, Jen. You know, yesterday when it happened, I had to share it with Kevin. I didn't realize I was telling the world, but uh, very happy moment for me yesterday, for sure. So, it made it real. Made it yep, real. Yep, yeah, it's real. It's, it's happening. Number real. two. <laughs> Here we go. I'm pregnant. <laughs> but we're at Drift Mania, and it is safe. <laughs> okay, good. I, I'm dressed with my helmet on. I'm standing on the did, side. Sangita, did they make you sign a waiver? That's what I want to know. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'll have to check with that. Okay. All I right. will check with that. But I, I decided I'll just be a car model and, and show you the car. Okay. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be safer. And I'm really hot in this. But uh, we're doing a little bit of driving right now, some amateur driving. Uh, they're going to be doing Drift Mania this weekend coming up. And I'm here with Ryan, who's a drifter. And you've been doing this for a while. Yeah, I've been. It's my second year competing now. Yeah, tell us, what is drifting? Drifting, as you can see by the by the shots here, it's sideways, a lot of action, it's intense. Uh, two cars usually side by side competing for the fastest uh, drive, the most angle. It's really really intense, as you can see, loud. It's it's not about winning right at the end. It's also about the technique, right? It's not the fastest car that wins. It's the best driver that wins. Okay, now you said you did it for two years. Tell us about your experience racing. Uh, I've done racing school. I've done a lot of grip racing, but drifting is really what I love. Okay, now. How fast are these cars going? Right now, not too fast because it's a small area, but during competition, we're going 120, 130 kilometers an hour, side by side, sideways. <laughs> and what kind of cars do they drive? All rear-wheel drive cars. It has to be rear-wheel drive with a good motor and a good chassis setup. So a lot of Nissans, 350Zs, 240SX. We drive Pontiacs. Yeah, it looks like they're taking a beating with the tires. <laughs> I guess you need a new pair every time. Oh, tires go very, very quick, but we have an awesome sponsor to give us the good tires, BF Goodrich. So it's... Now tell us about the event Drift Mania that is happening this weekend. Yeah, it's this weekend. It's Saturday and Sunday, uh, around 10 to 6, $25. Kids under 12 are free. And everyone gets to watch it and experience it. Yes, that's what's nice about drifting. It's very tight. You see the whole track from one, from one seat. So, Woo! so we're going to experience more drifting, drifting mania. All this is coming up. Back to the station. All right. Some to Sangita. She's at the live eye. Hey, Jen. We're in the car. I'm going to try some drifting. Very safe. I have my suit on, the helmet on, the seat belt on, and I'm here with a professional. We're just going to try this. I've always wanted to try this, and we're going to go. You ready to go? Here ready we go. go. Not very fast. This is just a very controlled environment. We know you're pregnant. We want to keep it safe. So. I think the little one enjoyed that. That yeah, was really I think cool. So. Now, how long? How many times do you do drift? Like, how many times in a turn you're in a circle? I guess. How many times do you actually drift? You're always drifting. That's you're the point. You drifting. have to stay sideways at all times. Okay. And you said you have to be next to another car, yeah. and then you guys follow each other. Yes, it's really a tandem battle. So the guy in the front has to lay down a good line, and the guy following has to imitate that line and try to beat him. That's awesome. Yeah. So he's 
Look at him go, man. That's Carl, eh? That's Carl, yeah. And his speed's around what? About 100 well, kilometers? Well, coming through here, he's probably going maybe 70, 80 kilometers an hour, but we'll be coming down the straightaway probably 120. Okay, can we do it one more time? What do you Absolutely. think? Absolutely. All right, Carl knows we're coming out? Yeah. Okay, we're doing one more time! One more time! One more time! Here we go! Morning commute for Frank. Um, cheers. Cheers. Oh, Sangita. Oh, Sangria. That's my nickname. I like Sangria. They're good. I'm here with uh, John, and you're an amateur driver, right? Yes. Or amateur drifter. Amateur drifter. What, 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 what made you so interested in it? Well, I started on many forms of racing, but it's just something about drifting that I just... It was just so much fun. The adrenaline? It's, it's, it's really exciting. Like, I just can't stop doing it. Like, because I've tried on the track, drag racing, and... Just something about drifting really gets me. Now, what's the difference between racing and drifting? Do you actually do drifting while you're racing? Well, when you're racing, you're actually going for the fastest speed, and you're only trying to go smoothly around the track. But when it's drifting, it's not about the best speed. It's just about how good you look, how much angle, how much smoke you can make, and it's a lot of fun. It's okay, and how long have you been driving? How long have you been driving? I've been driving for about three or four years now. Wow, okay. Now, Ben, you're part of the event that's happening this weekend what, what's exactly happening this weekend for everyone to see well i'll tell you what it's gonna be a really cool event we've got a drifting extravaganza over two days right here at downview park it's a real family event any kids under 12 are free um, we've got free parking we've got public transportation a two-day format meaning we've got professional drifters going head-to-head -head for canadian championship and we got like john here with the uh, amateur drifting to really get a chance to step up and be a pro so, so most of these guys are professional that are going to be here for the weekend absolutely the best drivers we have in this country will be here facing off to see who is the best. All right, you guys got to come down this weekend and check out Drift Mania. Back to the station. Hey, thanks very much, Sangita. Okay, we got to give We're going to head out to Sangita. She's at the live eye. Hey, Jen. We're going to be talking about the car itself and how different it is from, dry, uh, I guess, racing cars and uh, cars on the streets, I guess. And there's a unique part of drifting cars. Claude, tell us a little bit about the engine. All right. I mean, uh, this is you're going to see a different setup. This uh, 240SX normally comes with a, a little bit of a, a four-cylinder engine. Some some people go with turbo configuration. What we decide to, to go here is with a big Corvette motor. Uh, okay. four, yeah, normally they would have like you know somewhere in a street car they would have like 150 horsepower. This got 475 at the wheel, so probably 550 at the crank. Um, so a lot of a lot of so power. You need that horsepower. Oh, you you know it's always good to have the horsepower. You need a lot of different little things that you need to prep the car. You need uh, good suspension uh, so you can be you know you can you can have suspension working for you you need a limited slip differential it needs to be a rear-wheel drive car so that's why you see all these uh, cars it that has are, to be rear-wheel drive cars yeah yeah exactly absolutely what about the rpms uh, well, the RPMs, I mean, this motor runs up to about 7,200 RPMs, uh, and some motors will run with higher, uh, higher RPM. The smaller, especially the smaller motor with turbo, they will have tendency to go up to 8,500 RPM. The advantage of this big motor is the torque that you've got, and uh, this, is, this is working very well for us. Now, in terms of the tires, I mean, the car tires were taking a killing today, uh, and I guess you guys have to change it maybe every time you do drifting. Tell us about the size of it and why you have to change it. Well, basically, this, we're running 17-inch 17, 17 wheel in the front, 18 in the back, so we're running 265, 35, 18s in the back. The, uh, we're using BF Goodrich. These are, are great tires, and the deal is, I mean, these are, are street tires. High-performance tires that are right. available uh, for anybody that drives them. So you can't use winter tires. But, uh, <laughs> no, I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't advise it. But we really torture them, absolutely. Okay. Well, it looks great. Now, I'm going to talk to Dave a little bit about the safety and in the interior, because you guys take it apart, this car. Uh, tell us about the design in here. Well, uh, one of the most important things in drifting is obviously have to be safety, um, which is why we have the roll cages installed in the car and all the carpeting removed. So in, in the event of a fire, there's nothing to catch fire inside of the car. Um, and the seats are like little... Yeah, they're, uh, they're bucket racing seats. They're really meant to hold you in there, um, like, a, like, you know, in the event of a crash, so you're not moving. Now, and what, what are all those knobs in the middle over there? What, what are those designed for? Um, all the uh, 
the the lights the, and wipers. Oh, okay, so those yeah, are the functions. Yeah, that's that's the functions of the car right there. Um, like I mean, and how I, much work does it take to get rid of everything from this car? Uh, you know what? That's that's the easy part when it comes down to things, and um, it's really making it a safe car to to race in after, which is why you got the fire system installed, um, and we have the uh, six-point harness. That's what you need all about. Perfect. So it's all about safety inside, right? It is all and about safety. I'm getting hot in this thing. I'm taking it off. <laughs> Back to the station, Kev. <laughs> it's too hot now.